Thanks, we are back, and April is National Donate Life Month, and ABC 15 and Mayo Clinic are teaming up to give you the information that you need to know. With us now is Dr. David Douglas. Welcome. Thank you. Help people understand which organs in our body we can donate. It's important to understand that there's over 100,000 people waiting for a life-saving organ transplantation. Uh, and there are many organs that, that people need. So some people need hearts, some people need lungs, some people need kidneys, liver, pancreas, intestine. Total of six organs. And because we have two lungs and two kidneys, if you sign up to be an organ donor when you die, you actually can save the life of up to eight uh, patients with solid organ donation. Wow, and I, as I was researching this, I, I understand if you add tissue to that, you could save up to 50 people? That's correct. You can improve the lives of up to 50 people with, uh, with tissue donation in addition to the solid organs. Really amazing, yeah. So let's kind of demystify organ donation for people so that they understand it a little bit better. Because some people think if they donate an organ that it's going to be very expensive for them. Yeah, that's a, there's no truth in that at all. There's actually no charge or no cost to the donor family for donation. Okay. And how about when it comes to your religion? Because some people are afraid that organ donation may be against their religion. There's actually no major religions that are against organ donation. So again, a myth that's, that's not true. Okay. And then some people say, well, you know, I don't really need to take care of my organ because I'm wealthy and I'm just going to buy an organ when it's time. Is everybody on the list the same way? Yes, everybody's treated the same on the list. For most organs, it's the sickest patients are transplanted first. Uh, for kidneys, waiting time is still a predominant uh, way of people get transplanted. Yeah. When you look at Arizona, only 30% of our citizens here in our state have actually registered to be an organ donor. Um, we can do much better than that. Um, what are your thoughts on the whole thing? Well, at one point, over 1.7 million uh, Arizonans have registered, but there's so many more that we need to get registered. If you look at it, over 90 percent of the people are in favor of organ donation, but most people haven't taken the opportunity to talk to their family or express their wishes. And only 30 percent of the people know what it takes to become an organ donor. And so it's important for people to register with the organ, uh, with the Donor Network of Arizona, mm -hmm. so that if something you die, something bad happens to you, your family knows what your wishes would be so that you can donate your organs and help save lives of people in need. I think a lot of people think it's too emotional to do, but at the end of the day, your experience is what? It's just probably the opposite for the family. I think uh, knowing that their loved one wanted to be an organ donor, to, mm -hmm. to have that knowledge, uh, and then with the donation, sometimes uh, it's, it's closure. Uh, it knows that something good can happen out of, a, out of a sad catastrophe. Yeah. Dr. Douglas, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. If you would like to donate, just go to azdonorregistry.org right now and become an organ donor here in Arizona. We're back with more in a few minutes.